Day one of the experiment. So far, the subject has had no reactions whatsoever to the initial portion of the project. However, we do not expect symptoms until day three. So, subject one through 30 will be able to be maintained and monitored in their overnight stay as per their contract. We'll see what happens as we go on. Two subjects, three through seven, appear to be having negative effects of the initial phases. Did not expect them to progress so quickly. We will have to update. Oh, that's not supposed to be flashing. <sighs> Secondary update later in the day. We lost subjects 9 through 7, 9, 8, and 7. The substance might be more dangerous than initially thought. The current plan is to continue with the project. We'll have to see how it goes. Day three goes poorly. Projected day of first symptoms instead is the day where all subjects have displayed symptoms of one sort or another. The only one who seems to be unaffected is subject one. Subject 9 through 7 were lost yesterday. We lost subject 12 sometime early this morning. <sighs> subject 7 is back! Didn't know that was possible! We're pretty sure that their heart stopped earlier, but it turned up and about. They started talking and integrate and, well, grunting, at least. They're making grunting noises and, um, seem to be able to see through the mirrors, the double one-sided mirrors. Um... Subject 1 has still yet to show any symptoms. Um, we are keeping subjects previously thought to be lost. 12, 8, 9, 13, 15, 29, and 3 in, um, under careful watch after 7 came back. We'll see how it progresses from here. Subject 7 escaped. I fear what the media will find out and what they'll call it. Staff is already muttering about zombies. It's not what this project was about. Subjects 29 and 3 have indeed come back. And 8 is showing signs of potential awakening. Though hasn't gotten up. Just kind of Lies there, twitching. But subject one's fine. Still no symptoms. Subject one is the only one still standing. Well, technically. They brought seven back this morning. The media got a hold of it. 
They filmed it like a car chase and put it on live television and streamed it in several social media centers. Um not sure what I'm going to say, but they're demanding answers, and as head of the facility, I'm in charge of talking to the media. <sighs> I haven't slept in 36 hours, so I'm going to go get some caffeine. And probably consult the CEO of marketing. She'll know what to do. I talked to the media this morning. I have two hours to get to the studio. What time is it? Four? I need a nap or to sleep for a day. Can't do that in a crisis. As long as they don't have any inkling of the serum, it'll be fine. Can I go get breakfast? And I'm going to temporarily ignore the fact that there are over 20 undead in my facility. I'm gonna go tell the media that about this, well, we have to call it something. So, gonna call it the immortality serum. Marketing said we might get better funding. We call it that. Media will probably demand to see patient seven and talk to patient seven. That's not currently a possibility as patient seven is currently strapped to a gurney and growling about needing meat in a very guttural tone. I think her voice box completely shifted. A is basically shaking with tremors constantly. 29 just walks in circles. <laughs> Guess what? Subject one is still unaffected. Maybe we didn't even give him the serum. Let's go see what I can do to clear up this mess with the media. So, I figured out a way. I figured it out. I know how to counteract the measure's butt. <laughs> I figured out what to do. I won't lose my facility. <laughs> All I need to do is make sure that I hold the world for ransom temporarily. That's all it takes. So I figured out the cure. I figured out how to de-weaponize the serum and also how to completely weaponize it just in case. Because, you know, so, things, things happen. So, I am currently holding the town hostage. And the government is definitely going to pay all my grants. I see no way that this could possibly go wrong. <laughs> the CEO of marketing decided to disagree with my plan. Tried to put a stop to it. So I slipped a little something into her coffee. Yeah, so she'll be up in about two days by all calculations. 
Meanwhile, the government will respond. I've had my first response already. They responded to my emails. Very, very vague, jargony lawyer speak. Luckily, I speak lawyer. I spoke lawyer back at them and threw in my own jargon. Maybe that'll teach them. Confuse the lawyers. They'll never know what hit them. They demanded to know how exactly the serum worked and how exactly it was spreading. I told them but they'll never figure it out because they're lawyers and they also are going to think I'm lying. <laughs> Joke's on them. Hmm. Eventually, they will. Oh, really? Excuse me. Let me check my laptop. I have a notification. Turns out it's relatively inexpensive to deck out your facility once you break in and take down all the guards and make sure that everybody who's inside is still contained. Turns out. It's inexpensive if you have the one and only cure because you can give the cure for goods and it's fantastic because nobody else has the facilities ready to, you know, s m make it, make it feel like I have a word for that, that I'm supposed to use. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. I've got... A rather wonderful trap system all set up. The doors do not open, and when they do, there are spikes. And after there are spikes, there are pit traps. Because, you know, it's actually surprisingly to use, make up tra pit traps in a building that is multiple stories tall. I mean, it's, it's basically as easy as you cut a hole in the floor, and then there's a pit there. And then they just, like, fall into the in-between between floors, which is already a like nightmare area anyway and then all you have to do is release rats you know the ones that i already used for the serum in the initial experiments which is part of why i thought it was going to work pretty well because the rats worked pretty well and they like took naps all for a little while and then they woke up and then they were totally fine and it, if they are a little bit more bloodthirsty you know i didn't put that into my report i mean who puts that into your report you can't claim that that's a thing you can't prove anything about that but you know they're in between the floors now and it's fantastic because they're perfect i've got rous's running around down there not because i well not because they had any sort of enlargement stuff from the serum that was a totally different experiment which i definitely had grant money for in the first place and was definitely doing 100 percent totally legally and not for military organizations in other countries no mm -mm. nope not why i have rous and not why i was br trying to make technology that helped bioengineer th things to breathe fire no that's just because i like dragons because dragons are really cool so all i really want to do is make sure that all of them are happy and safe and um not letting the military invade from the bottom floor or the top floor so the top floor has its own set that's being all set up i was able to get a hold of a surprising amount of hydrochloric acid for such short notice like surprising amount of hydrochloric acid so i have the top portion of the helicopter pad completely flooded in burning acid um i was able to uh, line the edge of the top of the building in a anti-corrosive material which should last at least two weeks without reapplication um my plan is to reapply it in a week and uh that time i can probably get more hydrochloric acid and by the time everything's done, I'll probably have cured the entire city in any case. So the military won't have any reason to come after me. The government won't have any reason to go after me. That's how that works, right? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's how it works. That's definitely how it works. You fix your problems, and then people ignore you because you made your problems better. Um, I don't know if after the problems are fixed, if the people's lifespans are the same as they would have been, if they are longer now, if they are shorter now. I don't know how that works, but I do know that the cure worked on the rats because they got less angsty and um, stopped hoarding things for in the, some of the cases. I mean, I'm sure that there's uh, no sort of thing like that that's going on for anyone else who's had the serum. Probably not. I mean, who would hoard things and shove them together because they're theirs and it's, it's mine. Um, <clears throat> it's okay. I'm going to administer the cure to myself eventually. Not right now. I don't need to right now, obviously, because I have the facilities back. And then if I have the facilities back, I can manufacture it whenever I want to. So I don't need to use it yet. Because there's other people who need to use it. Because they need to pay me. Um, I need to use it on other people. So, uh, the grant money, I will get one way or another. And my facilities are mine. And nothing can come get in and get me. <laughs> so, you know, it's going well. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Yes. Yes. <laughs> They've agreed to all my demands. <laughs> now all I have to do is stop the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> sure I could figure it out soon. I've got it ready to go. As long as nobody's left town, it should be fine. Zombie Profen, here you come. <laughs> <laughs> about this <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this I don't know if I can feel anything right now <sighs> oh gosh I'm tired I've taken the cure. I've managed to get the bases for it and the cultures for it off to other labs all around the city. I've been able to rescue two rats from the facilities. As the facilities are now a biohazard for several reasons. And constantly going up in flame. There are now fire-breathing rats in the sewers. Not bad. So. If any other labs are looking to hire someone, I don't know who hires mad scientists, but I can officially put that on my resume.
Weird thing is, despite having taken the cure, I'm still proud of it. And I'm still proud of my lab, even if it's burning to the ground. Heck. What do I have to lose? Hello, future. Here I come. Oh, sweet lab coat. Never leave me like that again. I will miss you. I will never lose you again. I swear. I promise. Ever again. Oh. <laughs> Track down the person who took it. I may or may not have gone into police headquarters to get back my lab coat out of the... What do they call it? It's the evidence area. I'm sure it has a name. Not my jargon. Now all I have to do is figure out where the keys to my facility are, because if I can lock down the facility, I'll be able to figure out exactly how to keep it, how to keep it and how to keep it safe. Because all I need to do to keep it safe... I mean, just go Dungeons and Dragons on it, right? Just set up traps around the entrance, a few swinging blades from the hallways and down the halls. Ooh, I could set up a full Indiana Jones aspect because all I really need to do is make it so that my entire facility is a dungeon so nobody can get in and nobody can take it away from me ever again. <laughs> it's a perfect plan. I don't see how this could go wrong. Huh. I feel like I shouldn't say that very often. <laughs> Patient zero. Exhibiting symptoms. Wasn't honey I put in my coffee. Who knew? Key was caffeine. They, le they let me keep my phone. Turns out patient one also had several espressos before coming in to test on day one. Meanwhile, A zombie apocalypse is spreading from coffee shop downtown no we shouldn't have put the serum in a bottle Just wanted to help humanity, you know? Just wanted to make it easier. Just wanted to make it so people live better lives. I wanted to make people live longer. Well, they live longer. 
until they don't. It looks like the CRISPR tech I used to make sure that the serum embeds itself inside the DNA got picked up by the viruses ambient in the immune systems of several people and the immortality serum is now spreading like a disease. Hey, if I'm lucky, maybe the government will shut down and they won't be able to take my lab. That's a thought. Okay. Problem. It turns out that having ROUSs between floors and equivalent pit traps means that rats can jump up. I forgot about that fact that rats can jump and climb. And so there are rats in the lab and through the facility and ROUSs and possibly will not confirm yay or nay, there might be rats that can breathe fire running around the lab on the second floor. So, theoretically, if rat bait doesn't work, I may have to resort to more extreme measures. So right now, I am getting as much of the cure assimilated as possible. Assimilated, assimilated, created. Again, there's still a word that I should be able to use. Hmm. But the, if, if this all goes well, then I'll have plenty of cure for everything and everyone. And if this goes badly, then my facility burns down around me. So, ups and downs. Ups and downs. I managed to get several trucks full of the cure and the bases for the immunizations sent out to other labs across the country. My lab is all right, but the facility itself is on fire. This is the end of my career. It was a bust. SWAT team. Took down my facility. Took down the production of the antidote. And they took the lab coat. My poor sweet lab coat. When did I last sleep? So, despite saying they were going to acquiesce to my demands and give me the grant money and get, leave me in charge of my own facilities, I've had to make a run for it. They'll find me eventually. There's only so many generic white walls I can find before they start seeing variations that are similar. So hopefully this will leave a good report of what I intended. When I first started and made the serum, 
I wanted to be able to extend the human lifespan. The intent was to expand it from 80 to 120 years using the DNA that we had assimilated from people who had lived over a hundred years. We thought we found the portion that extends the lifespan. By all accounts, we succeeded, but it varies what that DNA functions like because of how we inserted it into the DNA. Caffeine helps in a manic sort of way. I know that all of my decisions have been logical, but I can't help but feel that I'm missing something. I don't think I would have Well, it's not poisoning a co-worker if they're just going to come back to life, right? My morality is slipping. It's not Jekyll and Hyde bad, I think. I don't feel an overwhelming urge to be evil. Just... Vaguely selfish. All I can think about is my lab. It's my lab. The government took my lab, but I want my lab back, even though arguably I was just in charge of it. it wasn't. But it was my lab. It was my lab. It's my facility. Mine. And all I can think about is how I'm going to get it back. Because I am.